Okay, this is the famous Stiebel air horn. This is supposed to be the loudest horn, air horn you can get for a motorcycle. And uh, I'm going to show how I've, I'm going to mount this on my Suzuki Bergman 650. I uh, got a little help from the Smyrna Cowboy. Uh, he sent me a picture of where he mounted his and uh, I'm basically going to mount it in the same place and I'm just going to show how I mounted it. So anyway, this is it. This is the Stiebel air horn. It's fairly compact and uh, looks like it's going to be fairly simple to uh, mount. Uh, probably the hardest part will be with the wiring. Uh, when I bought this uh, air horn, I also purchased a deluxe wiring kit, which is supposed to include everything I need to hook up the wiring from the uh, old horn, basically on the, the stock old horn on the Bergman, to this new one. Okay, just wanted to show you, this is the deluxe wiring kit that I bought with the uh, stubble or steeble. Uh, air horn. It contained pretty much everything. I did have to get some extra wire, but uh, anyway, uh, most of the other connectors and everything else, uh, it came pretty complete. So I'd suggest, unless you got a bunch of connectors and wire already, it's good to get one of these along with your Stiebel air horn. So this is my Bergman with the uh, most of the front uh, Tupperware or plastic uh, removed. And where I'm going to mount it, I'm going to zoom in on here a little bit. And this is basically the same place that uh, the Smyrna Cowboy mounted his. So it's going to be mounted uh, right in to this area here. Basically, uh, when this thing is all done and mounted, it's going to be sitting just about like... Uh, like so, right here. Uh, there's a good steady plate right here, pointing to it here. And it looks like you simply drilled the hole down through here and uh, mounted a mounting bracket onto here and then over to the, uh, the air horn itself. So what I did is, uh, nothing fancy, I got a pair of, uh, I found actually, a, I already had, these are some flat angle braces, uh, and I had a package of four, so I decided to make it stronger. I got two, the same size and everything angle bracket, and simply screwed them together, so that's going to make it double strong, plus it's like plywood, it's laminated, you might say, so it's going to be pretty darn strong. And I just kind of simply bolted them together, and it'll be bolted here where it's attached to the uh, uh, air horn, and then over here when it's attached to this bracket right here. And this is a, let me measure this here, this angle bracket is two and a half by two and a half by one half inch. Hopefully you can see that. So it's just something I happen to already have and they're not that expensive anyway. So when I get around to mounting the air horn, it's uh, basically going to be done like this. The air horn will sit right in here. The bracket, which again will be screwed, bolted down into this uh, plate here which is welded on to part of the frame of the motorcycle so that's also going to give me a good ground so if you can see it'll be mounted just like this and there is a little place right here where uh, you can bolt whatever kind of bracket you're going to use but in my case I'll be able to bolt right down onto part of the metal framework of the air horn itself so it'll end up kind of looking something like this, and I'll show you something once I get it all mounted and everything. And I think it'll work. So again, the air horn will be right here, as you see, it's up in the front. But the, uh, the two horns for the air horn are here and here, so they're going to be facing out toward the front. 
So anyway, this is how we're going to mount it. I'll, I'll be running a wire from the negative part on the air horn right up under into this uh, where I'm going to bolt the uh, mounting bracket. So that should give me a good ground because this is, again, this is welded right on the part of the frame. Okay, here's the Stiebel air horn installed on my Bergman. Uh, I drilled the hole back here to mount uh, one side of the bracket and this is also where I grounded it to the chassis which is part of what you got to do to hook it up and it's connected to the air horn right here this is uh, very sturdy and uh, let's see if you can see this here it's right here a good uh, oh it's somewhere between I think a half inch and a Three quarters of an inch clearance between the, the fork here. You can probably see that moving a little bit there. So there's plenty of clearance. And uh, this is a pretty handy place to mount it. And I really don't know if there is any other place you could really mount it without maybe having to take the front wheel off and everything, but it works. And over here, this is the relay. And all the wires connect into it. I just uh, screwed it and mounted it over here on the opposite side and uh, let's see here I'm not sure how well you can see this but uh, these two wires here the black and the white they go down and you can kind of see them and there you can see there's the original horn there's the little uh, plug in there and there you can see my black and white wires plugged directly into that little uh, fitting there, the original fitting. And as far as the wiring, probably one of the hardest things to do was to run wiring back to the battery. You do have to run a, a hot uh, wire uh, from your positive part of the battery, which is right there. And this, as it should, uh, this wire has a inline fuse. It's a 30 amp fuse and the uh, Stiebel horn comes with that. So it's just a matter of running this wire uh, up to the front where it plugs into the relay. And uh, getting it under this stuff, I had to use a, a wire to kind of fish it through. But you can see that red wire going out along here. And uh, here it is. And from here it goes up to where you see it right there. And it just plugs into the relay here. And again, this uh, this bracket here seems to be really good and strong. I definitely would use a, a at least a, a double layer, uh, but it's it's in here good and solid. And the the little uh, horns from this steeple horn uh, face out to the front there. So anyway, we're going to put this thing all back together now. Okay, well we got the job finished. The horn's in there and got everything back together. So we'll uh, start it up, take it out for a little test drive and see how the horn works.